क्लास सिक्स एक्सरसाइज वन पॉइंट टू फर्स्ट सम हर बुक एग्जीबिशन वॉज एल्ड फॉर फोर डेज इन अ स्कूल द नंबर ऑफ टिकेट सोल्ड एट द काउंटर ऑन द फर्स्ट सेकेंड थर्ड एंड फाइनल डे वॉज रेस्पेक्टिवली वन थाउजेंड नाइन्टी फोर वन थाउजेंड एट एंड ट्वेल्व टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टी एंड टू थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी वन फाइन Find the total number of tickets sold on all the four days. Dear students, a book exhibition was held for four days in a school, and each day they have sold certain number of tickets. That is, on the first day they sold one thousand ninety-four tickets. On the second day they sold one thousand eight hundred twelve tickets. On the third day, they sold two thousand fifty tickets. On the fourth day, they sold two thousand seven hundred and fifty one tickets. And here, you are asked to find the total number of tickets sold on all the four days. Tickets sold on first day equals one thousand ninety four. Number of tickets sold on second day equals one thousand eight hundred twelve. Number of tickets sold on third day equals two thousand fifty. Number of tickets sold on fourth day equals two thousand seven hundred fifty one. Therefore, the total number of tickets sold in four days equals. Now we have to add all the four days. That is one thousand ninety four, one thousand eight hundred twelve, two thousand fifty. Two thousand seven hundred fifty-one. So your answer will be seven thousand seven hundred and seven tickets. Second question: Shaker is a famous cricket player. He has so far scored six thousand nine hundred eighty runs in the Test matches. He wishes to complete ten thousand runs. How many more runs does he need? It's clearly a subtraction problem. Where Shaker wishes to complete ten thousand runs, but he has so far scored six thousand nine hundred eighty runs. Therefore, how many more runs he need to complete ten thousand runs? Number of runs Shaker scored six thousand nine hundred eighty. Number of runs he want to complete ten thousand. More runs he need equals ten thousand minus six thousand nine hundred eighty equals three thousand twenty runs. Therefore, he need three thousand twenty more runs. In an election, the successful candidate registered five lakh seventy-seven thousand five hundred votes, and his nearest rival secured three lakh forty-eight thousand seven hundred votes. By what margin did the successful candidate win the election? What's margin? Margin is simply the differences between both this candidate. Obviously, the first candidate has got more number of votes. So it is. It will be a subtraction problem. Number of votes secured by the successful candidates equals five lakh seventy-seven thousand five hundred. Number of votes secured by his rival equals three lakh forty-eight thousand seven hundred. Margin by which he won the election equals five lakh seventy-seven thousand five hundred minus three lakh forty-eight thousand seven hundred. Therefore, margin by which he won the election equals two lakh twenty-eight thousand eight hundred votes. Therefore, the successful candidate won the election by two lakh twenty-eight thousand eight hundred votes. 
Kirti Bookstores sold books worth 2,85,891 in the first week of June. Books worth rupees 4,768 in the second week of the month. How much was the sale for the two weeks together? In which week was the sale greater and by how much? Kirti Bookstore sold the books worth rupees 2,85,891 in the first week. And in the second week, they have sold the books worth 4,768. So, it's clearly an additional problem to know how much was the sale for the two weeks together. Which week was the sale greater and by how much? Obviously, the second week is greater, that is 4,768. We have to subtract. Simultaneously, we have to do two calculations, that is one is addition, second one is subtraction. Price of books sold in June, first week equals rupees 2,85,891. Price of books sold in June, second week equals 4,768. Therefore, number of books sold in both the together equals rupees 2,85,891 plus rupees 4,768 equals rupees 6,86,659. So, total number of books sold in two weeks equals 6,86,659 books. Price of the books sold in the first week equals it is 2,85,891. Price of the books sold in the second week equals 4,768. Here they were asked, in which week the sale was greater and by how much? So, it's obviously it is in the second week where the number of book, the price of the book is 4,768. So, we have to find the difference in the sale in both the weeks. That is, rupees 4,768 minus rupees 2,85,891 equals rupees 1,14,877 in the second week was greater by rupees 1,14,877 than in the first week Question number 5. Find the difference between the greatest and the least 5-digit number that can be written using the digits. Six, two, seven, four, three. Each only once. For this, let us first write the 5 digits greatest number and least 5 digit number. So, and then you have to find the differences between the greatest and the least number. So, it's nothing but it's a subtraction. Given digits are 62743. In order to form the greatest 5 digit number, the given number you can write in descending order that is 76432 and in order to form the least five digit number the given number you can write in ascending order 23467 therefore its difference between the two numbers is 76432 minus 23467 equals 52965 The difference between the two numbers is 52,965.
क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स अ मिशन ऑन एन एवरेज मैन